Welcome back YouTube. Thanks again for checking out another one of my videos and today I have some more scooter parts, some more scooter mods. Um, <clears throat> this one here is from Steady Garage. Okay, old schoolers in the business. They've been modding out Honda Ruckuses and Zumas. They still do work. They still have some custom Zuma parts on their website. And this here um, is a very old part. It's been out for a while, but it's new to me, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And I want to go ahead and thank Mike Gigabike for <clears throat> just his help and info on answering some questions that I had over this piece. I wanted to get a real spoiler for the tail because in one of my previous videos, I went ahead and talked about how the LED lights aren't as bright as you would expect them to be in direct sunlight. So, to go ahead and help keep me safe on the roads and let people know which direction I am going in, I went ahead and decided to get a rear spoiler for the Zuma 125. And after checking out some pictures and showing them to Mike, he was able to go ahead and identify some pieces and give and make some recommendations. And I went with this cool ass rear spoiler. Let me go ahead and unwrap this because I'm going to wrap it back up. Um, this is a Zibuku racing rear spoiler for the Yamaha Zuma. 125 boom and it's supposed to be fiberglass reinforced plastic here's the zibuku logo this is new in a box and oh kind of thin right there kind of thin right there you can see actually the light go through it it's kind of thin on the edges it's a little heavy and I can see Mike what you're talking about these are the only two mountain points it's long it's heavy that needs to be reinforced somehow or it's gonna crack there's no other mounting spots on it maybe but anyways this is the Zibuku rear spoiler for the Yamaha Zuma 125. There are some other options out there. Um, Moss Motors on eBay um, has a tons of parts for the Zuma 125. He has a short tail version for the rear spoiler. I wanted to go ahead and get the long tail version for the rear spoiler. So that's pretty much it. It's unfinished, it requires some sanding, some polishing um, before painting, but let's go outside and uh, show you what it looks like on the zoom. Okay, so here we are outside. There's my baby right here. Here is the spoiler in the sunlight. Yeah, it's an unfinished piece. Some rough edges here that need to be sanded down. This side looks a lot better. So it needs to be just sanded over one time, prepped for paint. Um, and it goes back here. I'm gonna have to remove the handlebar for the rear passenger. I don't have a socket set, otherwise I'd go ahead and do that for you guys. But these two pieces line up with the two bolts um, right behind the seat. And that's about the position it would be in. And here's the cutoff right there, and I think it would just cover it. It would just cover it. It wouldn't be that long. It'd be about that long. So, but the reason I wanted this one, first of all, I like this little, these leading <clears throat> edges right here, kind of almost match up with the the side panels on the Zuma so it almost looks like one continuous piece. It did a really good job matching that up. Um, second, the reason I wanted this one is because it's a little bit longer 
So it's going to go ahead and cover the, t the light a little bit more and provide a shadow so that the LEDs can be seen a little bit better during the day so people can go ahead and tell which direction I'm turning. Um, and the third reason I went ahead and picked it up is that it's a Zibuku and it was out a long long time ago it was really really popular I don't even think they make it anymore and if they do it's extremely hard to find and I was lucky enough um, to find it at Steady Garage they said it was not in stock they went ahead and emailed me a couple days later telling me that they went ahead cleaned the racks organized the racks they actually found one on the shelf and I picked it up right away. Brand new in a box, never been used. Man, I really wish I had a socket set. I'd take off this handlebar so I can show you guys. But I'll go ahead and throw up a couple links. Uh, I throw, I'll throw up a couple of pictures uh, to some finished Zumas with the Zibuku tail on there. And I'll throw up a picture of the Moss version with the shorty on there. And I want to thank Mike for sharing some of those pictures with me and let me, teaching me the differences between the tails. And I, like I said, I just picked it up because A, I don't even know if it's being made anymore. B, they're extremely hard to find. C, I may not even use it right away until I figure out um, a way we can reinforce this and the installation process a little bit. So it's not so heavy so it's not flopping around so it's not stressed on just these two points and I want to thank Mike for sharing the info on that with me but that's it I got a cool little rear spoiler for the Yamaha Zumo 125 may not even use it right away I may buy a shorty for right now um, but this is definitely something I'm gonna hold on to and maybe when I'm getting closer to finishing all the mods I go ahead and paint it up to match. But thanks for coming back and checking out one of my videos. I want to thank Mike Gigabyte, and he's going to come out with some cool new parts for the Zuma 125 as well. And I'm going to share those with you guys also. Um, appreciate the views. Hit a thumbs up if you like the pictures, if you like the spoiler. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more. Subject. Detected, 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 detected.